The Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, implements technical cooperation projects on strengthening the maintenance capacity of road infrastructure and supports efforts to foster core human resources responsible for road administration in partner countries and to improve the capabilities of their organizations. To utilize Japan's experience and knowledge, JICA has launched a road asset management platform to aim for establishing preventive maintenance on road infrastructure management and realizing effective and efficient road administration based on asset management methods. The activities of the road asset management platform are divided into four main categories. First is the Road and Bridge Maintenance Management Technology Project, where support is provided for the establishment of maintenance management systems and the preparation of manuals, as well as the implementation of efficient and effective OJT through a pilot project and the establishment of the PDCA cycle in partner countries. The second is a knowledge co-creation program in the field of road transport implemented in Japan. The third is research and development support through accepting long-term participants to universities in Japan. The fourth is road asset management platform activities. The activities include utilization of private sector technology, collaboration with universities, evaluation of road bridge maintenance and management, and introducing activity participants to local government initiatives in Japan. We also hope that it will become a place for Japanese engineers to upgrade their skills through local activities in partner countries. The platform supporting these activities has established a system that can obtain support and advice from civil engineering experts under a Memorandum of Cooperation with the Japan Society of Civil Engineers. We've established a system to utilize the experience and knowledge of national and local governments and Japanese expressway companies to obtain support and advice from the Japan Asset Management Association and to actively utilize experience, knowledge, and technology in Japan, such as the use of inspection, diagnosis, and repair technologies owned by private companies in Japan. In addition, we're engaged in various activities in cooperation with business industry, government, and academia in Japan, such as accepting long-term participants in universities and overseas transfer of engineering program activities in Japan. Dual Asset Management Platform の活動を適切かつ効率的に推進するため、活動内容について。専門的かつ技術的知見から助言することを目的として土木学会や国内の有識者からなる国内支援委員会が2020年3月に設立され技術支援が得られる体制を構築しています委員会の主な活動内容は道路インフラ維持管理にかかる技術協力プロジェクトに関するもの道路交通分野研修事業に関するもの民間企業大学等との点検診断や国・地方自治体の道路アセットマネジメントに関する取り組み知見の集約です私たち委員が三官学連携の中学の知見知識を国内外の道路技術者につなげていく機会を持ちまた技術展開により三の活躍の場が広がるとともに予算不足や技術者不足に悩む国内外の官つまり行政の方々へベストプラクティスを紹介できる機会を持てることは大変光栄です。道路アセットマネジメントのサイクルが常に改善され、継続されていくことにより、関係皆様のお役に立つことを期待しています。Therefore, we've introduced the Maintenance Expert Program course, a bridge engineer program system implemented by Gifu University in Zambia, with the aim of establishing a system in which the University of Zambia will take the lead in the sustainable fostering of engineers. ザンビアのプロジェクトもそうですしいろいろとその
岐阜大学のメンテナンスエキスパートもコンサルの皆様に非常にサポートしていただいてますのでぜひその現地の大学をですねサポートしていただく、まあ、場合によっては客員教授みたいな感じになっていただいてぜひそういったものを積極的に受け入れるみたいな動きをしていただけるといいんじゃないかなと思います。In the Knowledge Co Creation Program, lectures and a practical program based on Japan's experience and knowledge are conducted to realize planned budget allocation, strengthen daily maintenance systems, improve technical capabilities systematically, and introduce preventive maintenance in partner countries. In addition, to confirm the status of the establishment of technology and knowledge after the program, Monitoring activities in the field are executed. We're improving the contents of the program for the following year. We offer opportunities for officials and engineers from ministries and agencies in each country to go on to Japanese universities as masters or doctoral students of research and development. We also offer opportunities such as internships to learn the skills of Japanese companies and organizations. After returning to their countries, participants work on technical cooperation projects involving ODA projects. JICA would then expect them to play an active role as core human resources for promoting road asset management in each country. By scoring an evaluation of achievement level on the radar chart, everyone can monitor each country's abilities in maintenance and management. We can also identify issues in establishing road asset management. Each item is evaluated on a scale from 1 to 5, with level 1 as the initial stage and level 5 as the best practice. The first step for the partner countries is to reach level 3, which forms the core of organizational activity but is in a structured phase where communication is insufficient. To solve the problems of road maintenance and repair, JICA will consolidate and share our knowledge worldwide. Through our initiatives, we aim to develop human resources for road administration to establish road asset management in partner countries. Look forward to JICA ramp activities and please join us.